Alright guys, Carl Jockelson here, FLW Tour Pro. Just coming off a, uh, a top 12 at the Bassmaster Open here in Lake Champlain. And I've been up north now for a bit over a month, almost six weeks. I've fished four smallmouth tournaments, Champlain, St. Clair, Buffalo out of Erie. And I've cashed a check um, at all four events and um, all on smallmouth and everything Every single check and every good finish has been because of these two things right in front of me right here. I've utilized them to, to the max and I'm gonna show you how I did it and just how good the side imaging, down imaging, 360, and then spot lock on the Minn Kota can just help you so much. This is my the two Helix 10s and I'm gonna have side imaging here out to 100 feet i'm going to have straight down imaging here and then i'm going to have the lake master map in the northeast states right here and i'm going to have it color graded to exactly how i want so the different colors are going to show me the right depths and know exactly where i want to be and then i'm going to have straight through um just straight through sonar which will is a through hole transducer and will pick up the bottom even when I'm on pad. So I can find rocks, boulders, bait, and different depths and drop-offs while I'm running. Um, on, your, on your right here, you've got side imaging, and I'm gonna go to side imaging enhance, and you, the, that's, gonna, that's gonna be where I'm gonna play with all my different settings to get those boulders and rocks and bait to really, to really come up. I'm gonna have everything here was a Champlain pretty clear. I'm going to have everything reasonably high. So sensitivity 12, 13, contrast up on 17. And then the two different types of cup SI colors that I'm going to use. Majority of the time I'm going to stay with color palette three. And this one's going to be the best for structure, bait and fish. But when I'm looking for just structure and I want the, the most the hard objects to stand out I'm gonna have it on color palette 11 and this is going to give you a, a really uh, similar look to straight sonar it's gonna it's gonna have the red as the hardest return and it's gonna really show you these shadows on the boulders so you can look here I've got absolutely nothing to the left I've got absolutely nothing for about 70 feet and now I've got these giant boulders you can see this boulder here, if you can zoom in, you'll see this one is the biggest boulder out of that whole group. So that's going to be the one I'm going to want to target. So I'm going to move my cursor over to that boulder. I'm going to hit mark. And now it's going to, now it's popped up on this screen, almost 80 feet to my right. So now I'm going to turn the boat. And that biggest boulder in that group is generally going to hold so he's going to hold the biggest smallmouth of the largest group of smallmouth. So now I'm going to turn the boat. I've marked that boulder. And I'm going to head towards that GPS mark. So now I'm heading towards it. I'm getting about 50 feet from it. I'm going to kill the motor. I'm going to stop. I'm going to put both of these in standby real quick. So they don't waste battery while I'm fishing and I'm not going to get any interference on the front. So now I'm going to head to the front, try and catch that fish. So if you have a look here, I've come straight over it. And you got big fish either side of that huge boulder. Check that out. 
so now I want to do a spot lock. I'm going to drop my drop shot down there. But what, what I'm also going to do here is I've got 360 running and I that right then it was so accurate that I actually came right up on top of it. But 360 is going to show me exactly where that boulder is. So I know, so here's the lighter boulders. This small section here is around it and I can't see that big boulder. So I know it's, it's, I'm, I'm over the top of it because I can't see it. If I drift backwards a little bit now, turn this back, we'll pick up that big boulder on 360 and that's what's going to help us really just locate the biggest boulder around us and make it not so much of a guess um, of to where that is. You're going to be able to put it right on. So even with 360 here, we know it's useless casting to the left and right of the boat. The boulders and the rock are up here. It's super accurate. Now I'm going to have straight DI and I'm going to have straight sonar here. Um, one of them one of them's going to be at the back of the boat. This one's going to be from the back transducer, and this one's straight underneath the old tracks. So now I'm going to keep an eye on that, on the one at the front, so I can see if a fish comes up. I've got three, three nice boulders here. So I'm going to head out to my right. Got good boulders. So here we go. So now boulders come up here, and there's a there's a small fish hugging the bottom there, but not too much bait and not too much fish on it. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to move forward up to here now, straight in front of the boat. I've got 85 feet around, and I've got these this set of boulders coming in here that I'm going to want to check out. So these rocks here. So I'm going to move towards them. But now when I get a fish coming up here, I want to drop the drop shot straight down on him. And then on my Minkota just here, we've got spot lock. So I'm gonna be able to I'm gonna hit spot lock. And that's gonna hold me directly over that boulder and over that fish and not move me and I'm gonna be able to work on that fish as long as I can to get him to bite. So now, short little spin rod. I've got, I've found the, located the boulder, located the fish. I've spot locked over the top of it. And now all I got to do is catch it. So that was how I utilized my, uh, my four Helix 10s. 360, side imaging, down imaging, straight through sonar, and then the Minn Kota Ultrax. Between that combo, it's, um, it's truly amazing, made it very easy for me and the reason of, uh, of cash four checks at the last four smallmouth tournaments. So make sure you are.